YouTube as promised I'm here to present a video on rendering now so I just pick the wall there I'm just gonna draw a wall and uh, we're going to make that a stuck wall okay that's too high so we'll just make it a little bit shorter and you can do this with any object I just chose the wall because yeah, it's easy to do anyway so first thing you gotta do type LA enter or go to layer and press layer properties and when this pops up you wanna create a new layer and that layer we're gonna call wall E how's that wall E close that and we're gonna put that wall in layer wall E okay first step done next thing you wanna go is to uh, on the render tab go down go to material browser just duplicate that right click and duplicate and call that uh, we'll call that wall X keep in mind I called E on the layer X on the material browser just double click the material browser that pops up and in this image box just click on the white black space ah, go play in your room I gotta do some more okay uh, a bit of parenting there and then uh, download an image of whatever you want to make so in this case it's a stock I already downloaded that image and you can double click that to bring up this menu this just determines how big each portion of the material to patch on whatever it is you're patching on so in this case I can change it to 24 inches which is about two feet so every two feet of square will have a different patch okay uh, after that you're done here and uh, just the side note depending on if the material used has got reflective properties you can change that here add some reflectivity transparency for glass tint you know all fun stuff in here but we're just going to use that for now close that and to see the result oh no 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 hang on a second one more thing we gotta do we go to materials and say assign attach by there will X the material will E the layer so just drag will X material onto the layer and that thing pops up there and just press OK now see what you've done you go on materials and textures turn on materials and textures and as you can see the wall is now a stucco kind of finish and uh, when you go into rendering you then you can get uh, higher quality images and uh, I'll just do one quick one there so you can see what kind of uh, quality we're gonna get out of that now you can do this with steel with any object in advanced steel and then once you finish rendering that just click save save it somewhere and that's your image. Send it to your customer. Expect big smiles. Sometimes less is more. William Shakespeare. I promised if I get enough of these, I'll make a tutorial video on rendering. I got four. But who's counting? YouTube.